So I want to teach you guys a little bit more about why I set up, okay, or I was, I didn't actually do anything. I was guided by listening to a link that Mackenzie showed me on what's going to be happening at the end of this year, coming up literally in three weeks. So first, on December 14th, okay, we're going to be having the, lunar, the solar eclipse. So it's when the moon, the lunar, passes through and, and causes darkness for a few minutes as through the sun. First of all, that's a huge shift for us. Energetically, we're already lining up. Look at the skies now. You'll see the moon is not normally in the same spot. It's over across on the other side already. It's about ready to create that shift. It doesn't happen so fast. It happens very, very, very slowly. And at the same time, the energy is starting to amp up. For those that were like, why do I feel like it's a full moon all the time right now? Well, that's because that's happening. The, the, the sun, which is all about brightness and shining, and the lunar, it's all about spirituality and going within. So it's all crossing. Woo! So that's a big cross about who you are and who your spiritual self is and who your e almost ego self is. And it's kind of aligning. So it's really basing everything on spirituality, on you, on your collective self. Okay. Now then after that, about what, seven days later, okay, which is a wonderful number. You should check out seven days. Google seven is a wonderful number. We're going to be going into the winter solstice. So it's about, you know, going within. We all hunker in in the winter, okay? And we get, it gets cold and put the fireplace on and we kind of, and it gets dark earlier. So we have time to do a lot of spiritual growth during the winter. And we plant our seeds, right? We plant our seeds for the year ahead. And then when spring comes, everything starts to flourish and open again. This is what we're going through right now. We're gonna start that. And it's gonna be monumentous on the 21st and on the 22nd, okay, is actually when it all opens up. And 22 is a master number. It's a huge, huge number. In numerology, you always add the numbers until you get to the single number. But now when it's 22, 11, you don't do that. 22, you don't do that. And those are what we call very strong spiritual um, numbers for God or spirit or the creation. Name it what you like. Um, so on that day, there's a whole bunch of reviving happening. Okay? Release. Then we're going to be reviving. And then we're going to be realigning. Those are the three days. And in the day of reviving, it's the day that we nurture ourselves by releasing things that no longer serves us. And then in the same time, we have the planetary alignment. We're going to have planets that haven't been aligned with the sun, the moon, Jupiter, and Saturn, and Jupiter and Saturn. Yeah, Jupiter and Saturn. Thank you, Mackenzie. And this is what we've heard is that hasn't happened in 80,000 years. So this is a once in a lifetime activation that's happening right now and it creates a huge, huge metaphysical and spiritual shift. And what we want to do is realign ourselves with that shift. We want to realign ourselves with spirit. And there's three days and it's going to reactivate the Aquarian age and it's going to open up a whole nother portal here of spirituality and of being. Now, a lot of the millennials and a lot of the Gen X, a lot of them are always saying like, I don't understand, I don't want to do it and I'm not interested in it. They believe they're entitled to everything. And they believe that they, if they don't like to do something, they just don't want to do it. And I don't call it that. It's not really entitlement. Is that they're searching for something more than and they don't mind waiting 
and, um, and observing and seeing before they choose. So it might look like entitlement, like, no, you need to give this to me. But there's more backed up to it because they were brought up in a very spiritual way. And a lot of ways that I even bring up my children, do what feels right for you. And if it doesn't feel right for you, don't do it. And, and in my generation, we were taught, it doesn't matter if you're happy about it or not happy about it, just get her done. And there is going to be a Mary where all of these generations can come together. But I think what's happening is this planetary alignment and the spiritual activation is going to create that merge of all of us together. Where there's such a different generational gap in the way that people think, I think what's going to happen is as Obi-Wan Kenobis are learning how to be aligned and be like, no, well, you know what? Maybe I just don't have to be suffering. And then the Gen X and the, and the millennials are like, well, if I'm, I don't want to suffer. I saw my mom do that. I saw my dad do that. I saw my grandparents suffering. And that's not what I want. And this is all about release revive and realign for my generation and before me and for the new generation and all, all of us, all of us in humanity working together. It's a whole nother level. So yes, sometimes we have to do what we have to do, right? And then sometimes we can say, that doesn't serve me. And if you can afford it, that works. If you can't afford it, sometimes we have to do what we don't want to do. Even me. I do many things that I don't feel like doing. But at the same token, I'm still happy within. And I don't shift who I am. And I go right back, okay, I didn't like that. That's great. Let's shift it. What do I have to do to shift, shift, shift? And always, you know the shift is? It's to go within and to get more clarity. I might have had to learn that. I might have had to do whatever it is I didn't like to do to be able to learn so then I don't have to do it anymore. So many different things. We can look at things in so many different ways. And right now that's the opening that's happening. It's like, I don't have to only look at it that way. I don't have to stay in this box. I can go here, I can go there and explore. But the number one best place to explore is in your heart. And the journey, the hardest and the longest journey you'll ever have is from your ego mind to your higher heart. That is the longest journey. That is a road very less traveled. It is a road that most people don't want to go to. Why? Because it's a road of the inward travel. But I guarantee you, it is magical. And it is beautiful. And it is a little painful at first because you have to learn the techniques of clearing and moving through things that you didn't even have anything to do with. Because we bring in things from whole other areas. Uh, we have at least four generations of karma. So your moms, your, your, your father, your mother, their grandparents, and so on and so on. We carry their stuff. So let's get burning and let's start clearing and learning a new life. The life that we are here to serve in connection with spirit. I hope this helped. Sending so much love and grace and gratitude. And I see you at this beautiful event, December 21st to 23rd. Click and sign up. It's free.